Okay, I think this is behaving now, so let me just show you what I was going to show you here. The, uh, on Canvas, we've got the um, announcement of the, of the assignment. So we've got a brand new module, module number week three. So again, you can look through all of that. Um, there is going to be some extra credit for the animated project, and I'll get to that in a moment. But that's going to be related to uh, being able to do a walk cycle. So in the week three uh, toolkit link, I usually have some sort of links to something, videos or other extra things. And I've got listed there, which is also there from last week, uh, the Learn Adobe Animate How to Create Walk Cycles. So if you watch that video on your own and you practice it and try to add a walk cycle to your project, that'll be up to three extra credit points. Uh, the project in total will be 20 points. You can get up to 23 points if you add a walk, walk cycle based on the video here, up to three points. So the actual requirements of the movie, um, it's 20 points, and we can see the details of it there in week three. So you've got the basic things about it that it's got to be in a folder. Make sure it's an action script three file. Remember the default is when you create a brand new file that might say HTML5 canvas. You don't want that version. You want to make sure it's action script three. You've got then HD 1080p HD dimensions. And uh, we'll talk about exporting um, after the lesson in a moment. You'll have to export this uh, eventually. And uh, you're going to upload to Canvas your FLA file. So your Adobe Animate file will be uploaded. And I'm also going to take your files in the room uh, if you're ready to turn them in on, on that Monday or the next day. But eventually the point is I also need to take your, uh, your, your final video file. And we'll talk about how to do that soon enough. Again, the movie requirements are 30 seconds long, so you can go further than that if you want, if you have the time for it. And at least one example of a parallax scrolling background, which we'll talk about right in a moment. So this is going to be background that is like multi-layered. We'll have a lecture on that in a moment, so that's a requirement. You need, to have, you need to have some camera movement. We did that last time where we used the camera tool to zoom in or zoom out or move around on the screen, so you have to have at least one example of that. Uh, music. You need to have some sort of music playing in your project. Remember the uh, YouTube Creator Studio is the place that I highly recommend you get your music from there. But also I forgot to mention, did I mention this one? The uh, freemusicarchive.org. Did I mention that one last time? Okay, so I'll put it in, in Canvas in a moment. Uh, but FMA, no, not Full Metal Alchemist, obviously, free music, <laughs> free music archive, the free music archive, you can go there to um, get music in a variety of genres, um, so I can go get in uh, an electronic or country style song, again, it's not going to be famous music, but I think it's going to work very well for your project because oftentimes they are not vocal, uh, they're just instrumental and that, you know, so that it doesn't distract from your movie. So that's one place where you can get your, your, your music from or the YouTube Creator Studio. If you need help on downloading them, I, I can help you one-on-one -on -one with that. But you need a YouTube account and we can download it off of that. So a music playing on that. Those are the three requirements. Extra credit, the walk cycle, so up to three points. And I've got the link there as well to go watch the video in case you want to see, well, how can I do one? And hopefully you realize that anything that we talk about in the class, you can always learn more by going to YouTube or other websites to look up how to do more, like how to draw a model sheet. I could go look that up on YouTube, and I'm sure there's a thousand videos on how to do that. So whatever we, you might have a curiosity of what we've done in class, you are always able to go further, oftentimes by finding some great YouTube videos as well. So again, I'm, I'm grading more on like the technical aspect, not the artistic aspect. Uh, you know, if it's stick figures and all of that, okay, I guess that doesn't, you know, that doesn't hurt your grade. But when you've got the proper things, the camera, the music, the parallax and so forth, that's what gets you the good grades. Not if it's like not, you know, Disney quality work. I'm not looking for that. And in the amount of time we have, that, that's a very, very tall order, unless you're also working on this project a lot 
outside of class. So that's the general idea for the points. It's going to be due on Monday by midnight. If you need all the time until midnight, you can do it until midnight. If it's done by the end of the day at 4 p.m., you can turn it in at 4 p.m. Um, but that's, that's the idea there. Questions before we do the parallax lecture? Any questions on the, on the assignment and such? OK, let's do, yes. What if we like we remodel our character? You could, if you have this time period of about a week that you can change as much as you want about it, just be careful about your time. So if you decide that maybe your character is not interesting enough or it's too complex or whatever, yeah, you can redo it. You can redo your storyboard. You can redo your model sheet. You don't have to turn it in, in again. But yeah, you can change whatever you need as long as you, you know, don't fall behind on the, the deadline. Let's switch over to talk a little bit about how to do parallax scrolling background.